he talks about value tactics where uh, instead of as a as a uh, we'll go with a he used a department store for an example instead of uh, the salesperson as you walk into a department store say can i help you instead of doing that uh, you say to the potential customer i have something perfect for you let me go get it in th that is such a different mindset or, or different approach and it just opens up a totally different path to a sale versus can i help you with something and uh he talks about uh, you know and from a real estate standpoint other examples with real estate agents uh instead of uh most most agents he talks about go to a closing just to get the check but he suggests to go to the closing clearly get the check but go to make sure you go to the house with the your clients the first time they walk in and film it for them first time they've you know walking into their brand new home film that experience and give that to them i mean how um, how beneficial how cool would that be you know when, when we closed on our house how cool would it be would it have been to have documentation of that I mean, that's something that was a lifelong memory. And as a real estate agent, you can be associated to that. You can be emotionally connected with your clients by doing stuff like that. And he gave a bunch of examples. He gave so many examples that I went out and bought his book right after I got done talking. And he, you know, here it is. And it's a great, great, uh, the format of it. I, I really like it. Um, so value tactics, value tactics are what he calls them. And I wanted to mention that. Yeah, that reminds me of... Yeah, was, this is probably like five years ago when I listened to the 24 hour Steve Jobs audiobook. And that's one of one of his kind of main main philosophies with uh, the iPhone, the iPod, and things like that is that people don't know what they want until you show it to them. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what it reminds me of when someone walks into the store, instead of asking them what they need help with, they, they might not know what they need help with. If you sure. know, if you're the expert on that product, um, in the case, the, 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 the store, um, you're going to know what people people want before they want it. And similarly, if and, and I, I can kind of relate this to at least you know, raising capital. If you're a, an apartment syndicator you, and you've raised money for deals, um, you know that there's people out there who would benefit from passive investing in deals. But maybe they don't even know about passive investing in general, or maybe they don't know it's something that's good for them because of you know, their, their, their pre-existing beliefs and, and things like that. So you're the expert. So rather than kind of asking them, hey, do you, you know, obviously you can't ask them to invest in your deal, but rather than asking it, present it as if you know this is something that they need because it probably is if they're, if they meet your, your, your demographic for, for passive investors. So no, I think that's, that's a very powerful mindset, mindset shift rather than kind of you know, going out there and, and, and being passive and asking, be more active and be like, hey, I've got a great solution. I've got a great investment solution for you. Do you want to learn more about it? Or, or mm -hmm. just uh, you know, let them learn more about it by creating content, doing podcasts and things like that. Yeah. It reminds me of the quote that Henry Ford said, um, if I asked people what they wanted, they would have said, I want a faster horse. Exactly. Yeah, it's like they had no idea about an automobile. Like they, they, there was no concept of that. They just like they knew what they wanted. So if it's a if it's a stock investor and they don't know about syndication, if I ask them what they want, then you know they'll want a better stock pick or exclusive mm -hmm. stock picks. Whereas you know, there's a whole lot of other benefits to syndication versus stocks.